Today we're going to be talking about parallel lines and transversals. Okay, parallel lines are coplanar lines that don't intersect. And so if you look at this diagram over here, okay, um, you have, think about it, that they're in the same plane, okay, lines JK and LM. We denote lines are parallel by having a little arrow on them, so that's what those little arrows are. And then we have our notation, line JK is parallel to line LM. And then we have skew lines. Skew lines are lines that don't intersect and are not coplanar. Okay? Um, so that would be an example of, say, line JP and line NM, and I meant for that to be on, um, on line NM, but those lines would never intersect. Parallel planes. Parallel planes are planes that don't intersect. So, like... If you look at this like a box, it's the top and bottom of your box. So I have plane J, K, N, P, and I, H, M, L. Now for both of these examples, there's more than what I've written here. I'm just giving you one example. Another example of parallel planes might be the sides of the boxes. I just chose the top and bottom of the box. Another example of skew lines would be L-I and N-M. Okay, our first example. Name all segments that are parallel to B-C. Okay, so all segments that are parallel to B-C here. Okay, so I have F-G. EH and AD. I look at it like kind of the edges going around my box. S name a segment that is skew with EH. Okay, I am going to, I shouldn't have erased that. Let me do it in a different color because I think that was kind of hard for us to see. So EH is here. One segment that is skew with that is maybe DC. Another one that is skew with EH is AB. Um, BG. And I was looking to see the last one, FC. So it says A segment. I gave you all of them so that you can get an idea. Name a plane that is parallel with A, B, G, H. So the bottom of my little box. And that would be D, C, F, E. Special angle pairs. This is really, really important. We're going to be dealing with this throughout this chapter. And we're going to be talking about the relationship with these special angle pairs if we have parallel lines. So corresponding angles. Well, first of all, let me talk about this. Um, you have a transversal. A transversal is a line that intersects two or more lines. So I have here a line Q, I have here a line R, okay, those are not transversals, but T is a transversal, it intersects two or more lines. And when we have two lines and a transversal, we're gonna have these special angle pairs. One special angle pair is corresponding angles, and that is angles one, and angle five. So the same side of the transversal and say both above our transversal. So that's angles one 
and angle 5. Another set of transversals, I'm sorry, another set of corresponding angles would be angles 4 and angle 8. So same side of my transversal, so both in this picture to the left of my transversal, and both below our other two lines. Similarly then, we have angle 2 and angle 6 and angle 3 and angle 7. Alternate interior angles. So alternate gives you the idea that they're at alternating sides of your transversal and they're in the interior. So angle 4 and angle 6 here would be alternate interior angles. Similarly, 3 and 5. Alternate exterior angles. So same thing, just now on the exterior. So angle 1 and angle 7. Angle 2 and angle 8. And then you have your corresponding angles. Um, this sometimes... I, I used to teach out of a different book, and that book would call these same side interior angles. So some teachers will call them that. Same side of the transversal in the interior. So same side of the transversal in the interior, that would be angles 4 and angle 5 and angle 3 and angle 6. Okay, and it's really important for you to know these special angle pairs and be able to identify these, especially with unique pictures. So this is what I would consider a unique picture. So here we have angle two and angle six. What I sometimes have to do is I kind of have to carve out the angle. So angle two is there, angle six is here, Okay, C is my transversal. So same side of the transversal, both above or to the right of our other two lines. So those would be corresponding. Angle one and angle seven. Those are alternate exterior. Angle three and angle eight. Again, C is the transversal, so it's the line that intersects two or more lines. Three and eight are on the same side of the transversal, both in between the other two lines. So that is that consecutive interior angle. And then lastly, we have angle three. So angle three again, I want to do it in a different color. Angle three again, and angle five. Well, those are alternate interior, alternating sides of my transversal, but in between the two lines. Okay, that's all you have for today. Thank you for watching.